Hello, I'm Harindra here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the bubble sort algorithm um, with these chocolates. So the chocolates are delicious things as you know, so it will be good to watch uh, and learn with these chocolates. So as I thought. So uh, I bought some different chocolates at different heights. So you can see this is uh, this is the smallest one I bought, uh, Toffee Light chocolate, and this is a fire of the chocolate, uh, a bit bigger than the first one. So the third one is a Rollo, that's my favorite, and the fourth one is the biggest one from all of these three. So as you can see, I have numbered as one, two, three, and four. And I have put these chocolates in those places and you can see these all are already sorted it means you can see an order from the smallest one to the biggest one so the biggest one is in the fourth place and in the bubble sort also we are going to sort like this from smallest one to the biggest one so in order to do this bubble sort i want to shuffle these chocolates a bit so i'm going to put these uh, chocolates in some places so i will put this one in the first place this one in the second place the big one in the third place and this one in the fourth place okay now you can see as i told you I, uh, we want to uh, sort these chocolates from smallest to the biggest one. So the f smallest one will come to the first one and then the biggest one to the second and then third and then fourth. So uh, before starting this bubble sort algorithm I want to tell you something that bubble sort algorithm will compare the values. It means in here as we take the chocolates from one by one so I'm going to compare the first value with the second and the second with the third and third with the fourth likewise so we'll I think it's enough introduction so we'll begin to sort so first we'll come we are coming to the, this one so the Rollo I like that very much so that's why I put it the first so this roller will be compared it means the first chocolate in the first place will be compared to the second place as you can see the roller is bigger than the first second value it means the second chocolate it's uh, a bit big it's big than the the small one so we'll change the places of this so this uh, one chocolate can't be on another one because then it will be only three chocolates compared so when we are changing the places so we are putting this one here and that one into the place where we have changed the chocolates so this first value will become to the second place and this in the first place and now it will go to the second value now first value is already checked and it will go to the second value and second will be compared with the third one so this roller is the it means the second chocolate is smaller than the third one so as you can remember we want to sort these chocolates according from the smallest one to the biggest one so this is smaller than this one so the sorting will be skipped the second value because it can't change these values because this one is small so it's going to the third value and will be compared with the fourth value so you can see this one is the biggest chocolate and this one is definitely smaller than this one you can see so we are putting this chocolate here and this biggest one here okay you can see now it's a bit sorted but 
still we want to modify this uh, traces so we call this as first pass in the uh, bubble sort algorithm because it's already went one round and so still it's not sorted so it will begin the second pass so again it will come from the first value and will be compared or so it is coming to the first value as you can see there's this small chocolate here and this one will be compared to the second one you can see this we already sorted and this one is small and there will be no changes so it will go to the second value so the second value is bigger than the third one so there must be a change because we are sorting from the small to the big so I am putting this third chocolate into the second sorry into the second place and this one I am putting to the third place okay now you can see uh, our algorithm is getting correct so still the sort is not finished so we are coming to the third one so the third chocolate is this one and the fourth one is this one so this is the biggest chocolate and this is small than this one so there won't be any changes and it will not be change the place so you can see it's sorted but when you are thinking about the computer uh, he it doesn't know that uh, whether there will be some changes in these places or not because the last in the last uh, full pass there was a change the second one and the third one was changed so as we know that these chocolates are already sorted in order but to be sure we are going again uh, another round because in the in the first round and the second round there were some changes because the places were changed and to be sure another time whether there will be no changes we are going from the first one to the last okay now this fourth one is uh, the biggest one and there there is no chocolate available uh, in the fifth place so the first fourth one is, will be will be not compared with anyone because only four chocolates are available so again we are coming to the first one and it's again first one with the second one okay it's already sorted the second one is bigger than the first one and it's going to the second value and the third value will be compared with the second value okay the second value is smaller than the third one that is okay so it's going to the third value and will be compared with the fourth value so the third chocolate is smaller than the fourth one so that's it so it's already sorted now you can see in the first place for the first place it's the smallest one second place third place and fourth place all are sorted so i think uh, you got an idea about bubble sort with this video so after this video it will be a good time for me so thank you for watching this video and hope you got something